Hey guys, it's Kurt here at Owensboro RV, and today I'm standing in front of XLR Nitro's newest toy hauler, the 29KW. This thing is a side patio deck toy hauler. It's really cool, brand new floor plan. So it allows you to get the, the side deck and an actual bumper pull toy hauler. Uh, this thing weighs about 9,500 pounds, so it is one of the larger ones that comes in. It's also fairly long, but it gives you a really big garage. I love the living space on this one, so let's take a look. What I want to do is show you how this deck works. It's very simple to do, and I think you're going to like how this deck's set up on the side. I love the fact that it's under your awning, and it's on your living space side. Most of the time when you're at a campground, of course, this is the area where you play, you sit outside, you get the campfire, you get the burgers, you get the hot dogs, you get everything going. So I love this deck. Let's watch how easy this is to do. Now this is better done with two people. Let me just tell you that much. But as far as getting it done with one, it is done. It can be done with one person. So you undo the latches, kind of walk it back. And then what you do is you pull the pin on this leg. Like that right there. Reinsert the pin, drop it down, and right there's your actual deck. And then the easiest way to do this, actually come up here and grab the decking. It rolls out and it secures in place right there and right there. And then grab the other deck piece. Now I will say this with a caveat. If you do it and you're on the inside, you're going to be stuck here if your patio door is locked. So you want to kind of step to the outside. So all I like to do is grab it, come around with it, step back down on the steps here. Grab the deck. Latches into place. Like so. And then do the last part here. And I'm tall enough that I can pull the latch from the outside or you can go back in and grab it. But very cool setup here in terms of giving you that living space, kind of giving you a place off the ground, off the mud to uh, have your outdoor living space. Very cool. Let's step inside, guys, and take a look here. Now, this is what I like to call an open concept toy hauler. So you don't have an enclosed garage, but what you've got is a very open uh, toy hauler part and I believe from the countertop here all the way to the back um, You're something like 14 feet. So you've got a plenty big garage to get your side-by-sides your bigger four-seater razors four-seater Side-by-sides in here and to really have a lot of space in the back for your toys If you got a trike something big this will fit the bill. We've got a large TV right here Which I like you got the two euro chairs and then you've got what's called the max pass-through dinette storage. So these two become two couches on the side. Or, like this one is dropped to the side. So if you did have something that was taller, like a taller side-by-side, -side, this will give you about almost nearly uh, seven and a half feet from the bed down. So very cool that these drop to the side like this, or they make the couches, or they make two basically queen-size beds. You do have the dovetail going back and the drop down screen. And again, this is a brand new floor plan, so keep that in mind. Got the 5,000 pound tie downs all the way up to the very front here. So big D rings, big tie downs. Got a lot of storage space right up here. And also on this other side, it is a little bit on the tall side, so you do have to kind of reach on those. But uh, good cabinet space on this. Let's step out on the side on the deck here. One thing that I like about what they've done with the deck area, when you have your awning out, of course, this is going to cover you to give you protection from the rain and the elements and to give you shade from the sunlight. You can also put a TV on this bracket, and you've got the outside speakers here um, with your cable connection and 110 outlet right here. So if you just want to kick back, put a couple of chairs out here, watch a ball game outside, it's a nice day like it is today, that's an awesome feature. So let's step back inside here, take a look at the kitchen area. You do have kind of a deep countertop here, so you got room for a coffee pot, room for a crock pot, and plenty of prep space on this. 
You do have the nice stainless steel sink as well, the high-rise faucet. You've got quite a bit of storage right through here with these two, uh, these four cabinets right here. Of course, microwave, oven, got the glass stovetop, and then the fridge. And again, more storage right through here and storage under the fridge and storage under the oven. Now this is on a slide out, so this is actually slides out, gives you room, and you can see these cabinets here. So plenty of storage for the kitchen area, for all the pots, pans, goodies that you're gonna take with you as you go camping. This has a walk-through bath to the bedroom. So let's step through here. Again, a lot of storage right here. And here, you got the nice radius shower, medicine cabinet. You pretty much got everything that you need on this camper all throughout. Got a nice uh, bed here. You do have storage under the bed. And again, you've got storage throughout. This particular one has two airs, so we've got a bedroom AC on it uh, with thermostat control on that wall over there. And also your main AC, which is ducted throughout the coach. Let's take a quick look at the control panel. XLR control panel is pretty neat. It's all right here. It's labeled. It's all easy to tell what it is. Uh, this has, the, I believe, the generator prep package. So if you want to add a generator, you could with the start stop button. You've got your tank monitors here. You have all of your lights. Um, you have your fuel pump cutoff, water heater, everything real simple, labeled. It's a nice feature on this XLR. So um, control panel right as you come in the door. Everything's accessible. One other thing that I like about this coach is that when that slide is in, you can still get to the bathroom, you can still get to the bedroom, you can still get to the fridge, uh, even with the slide in. So you can still access all those things that people may want to use as you're traveling down the road. Now this one, again, brand new floor plan. It's a 2017 XLR 29KW. Awesome floor plan if you want to come see it. I'm in the Owensboro, Kentucky area at Owensboro RV. Our sister store, Western Kentucky RV, we'd love to have you come out. I'd love the opportunity to uh, talk with you, meet your needs, see if we can't get you in a new camper. So come talk to me. My name's Kurt, Owensboro RV. Thanks for watching, guys, and God bless.